Okay, what did Mr. Expo say? He said that you should get yourself a dark skinned girlfriend so that when you commit domestic abuse, you won't see the marks. Wow, wow, wow. Are we allowed to laugh? <laughs> that is horrible. I'm laughing because of shock. <laughs> <laughs> what else did he say? Um, that was the only one, and then that one of uh, one of the trends was to list the things that the kind of women you like in order of preference. So usually it'll be like white or like Asian or Latina first, and then it would be like dogs, cockroaches, <laughs> and then black girls. <laughs> and then there would be white girl Wednesday, there would be mixed girl Monday, and then it was black girl Sunday, and black girl Sunday. Everyone was like, nah. <laughs> only find it funny because we're not in a place where we'd find it offensive right yes um and whether that's because we have um we're, yeah we're, we're more confident or we can take you know the lighter side of things um, but some people would have actually cried mm -hmm. yeah about that and some people have experienced um more direct things against their skin color yeah. and yeah. that would affect them more mm -hmm. you know if they have had the running jokes in college or in secondary school about being so dark, like you know, you know, you you're so dark, you look blue, or you know, yeah. like, you smile in the dark, you can only see your teeth, things like that. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm joined by my two best people in the whole world, my best friend Sarah and my best sister Chitala. And my other best sister is sitting right here, but she doesn't want to show herself. Why do you want to show yourself, Suze? I'm ugly. She's, she says she's ugly. Um, funny enough, that's what the video is about. It's about ugly black girls. Yay! Because we are all ugly black girls. Okay, cool. So today we're going to talk about... Oh, wait, wait. Sorry, I'm so unprofessional. Make sure you subscribe and ting. Make sure you like this video. Make sure... What's that other stuff? Share, thumbs up. like, thumbs up, share, everything, everything. Help my sister out. This is like my fourth video, so or third, depending on when Which I decide to post it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. So great. So we're gonna talk about the struggles of being dark-skinned black females, because no matter what shade you are, if you're well, well, no, this isn't. This isn't really about lighties. No offense, sorry, sorry lighties, because you had it good. We're not, we're not part of you, so we yeah. can't speak on yeah. your trouble. We can't speak on your trouble. So basically, if you're a black girl and <laughs> from 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 middle middle color to 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 dark, this is for you. Yeah. That's what we're talking about—the struggles of being black girls. So, guys, <laughs> what would you say the struggles of being a black girl are? <laughs> start with school. Yeah, yeah we can start with school. school. What was difficult about school? Being clapped. We were all clapped in school. Yeah, we were never in the in crowds. Yeah. You know? It was always lighties. Yes. Um, we always had that, that nappy pepper grain hair. I relaxed my hair, so I wasn't really in that category. But, yeah, no one cared for us. Well, we went to St Anne's. And if you guys don't know, St Anne's is in North London. All girls school. So all girls school, and the majority of people, okay. So our school was a. I don't know. You might. Yours might have been Catholic. I don't know. No, it's just a girl school. Oh, it was a girl school. Mm. Our school was Catholic, and you know how African parents are religious. Yeah. So it's not, not coincidence that most of the people that went to our school were African. religious and African. Mm -hmm. So because we're all African, we um, got this um, nickname called Saint Mans because we're all African and we look like gorillas. Cool. And we were a bit more built than <laughs> yeah, because we have body. We have body. We have body. So we have a bit more meat than like the slimmer, the slimmer girls that went to Enfield County. Mm -hmm. So they used to call us saying mans because they really thought of us like man. And you know the worst thing, we were called saying mans, but then on top of that, we we're also called sket ands. Yeah. Because even though we were ugly manly gorillas, we were also ugly manly gorillas that are only good for some vagina. Okay. But also, you guys, you were sleeping with ugly. Ugly yeah, gorillas. Yeah, gorillas. We're good for a shag, but you don't want to be seen in public with us. No, 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 no. So, um, what am I saying? So, in school, like, if you wanted to be part of the in crowd, if you could have a lighty on your arm, yeah, you've yeah, made it, you've made it. You've made it. 
or one of them lighties with like the curly hair and she does the like the the swirly, the swirly. and then maybe diamantes oh yes fam <laughs> fam do you know i used to relax my hair and I used to really try Okay, you, you must have tried the hairstyles, but it I doesn't tried. bang. It doesn't work. It so doesn't bang as well. No. Because uh, look, I would try, I would relax my hair and I would get the gel and I'd really pull it. But when I'm sitting next to um Sherelle. Sherelle or something on the bus and I just see the way she slicks and it's it just slick smooth. smooth. And the smooth. little with the baby the yeah, little the sideburn swirl. one as well on the Kelly. One girl she used to really, she had quite long side but she used to really swirl it brown like that yeah really showing off Mad. yeah really showing off so we were clapped and um me and my sister were talking about this the other day so um okay we're just talking about our personal school yeah, yeah. in our school because we were all clapped and butters and no one was checking for us we decided to embrace that yeah, yeah. we decided to take that's the power like back USP. like like that's like nigga, nigga is a bad thing yeah. but you can use it so we decided like we were, we're gonna embrace being clapped so we decided to become more clapped so no this is my school was weird so in st anne's there were, we had this fashion where we had our skirts were super long mm -hmm. it was the fashion okay super super long and yeah, ankle blazer. yeah and yeah super long and then we buttoned up our blazers and we put our collar up wow and also it was this thing where we didn't we didn't brush our hair do you remember that yeah we stopped brushing our, we stopped hair. brushing our hair. That was because we're clapped anyway. So <coughs> might as well not checking for you. If, listen, Sarah. I literally, no, no one's checking, checking for us for you. Anyway. No one. Nobody. When you go on the bus, nobody looks at you unless you're in an Evergreen County uniform. No one looks at you. Yeah. So if you're clapped, you might as well There's be no clapped. Point. I get you. you. might as well. Be, we never used embrace to my hair. We used to embrace What's it. The point? We, oh my god! Literally, honestly, oh, it was it was hard times. I actually grew up. Um, and I was okay with it. I don't know how you girls felt because I, did, I don't know if you guys thought you were really pretty, but I always grew up thinking that I was okay. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't necessarily okay. say really clap, but I was okay looking, yeah. and I was alright with it. Mm -hmm. I accepted that I was I was okay looking, and like okay, cool. I'm not paying, but like I like 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 I said before, guys. Like if you're not paying, what are you gonna do? Kill yourself? You can't kill mm. yourself. No. But you know what? I think it's um, we had it easy because I think now media Social kind of. Media. Put, portrays a different yeah, yeah. and it's, it's bad because we genuinely didn't think we were clapped we, we, we knew we were clapped but we weren't sad about it yeah yeah we were okay we being yeah. clapped we were, we were fine everyone we were all clapped we were clapped yeah. together yeah but now i think it must be a lot harder it must be and i don't know if you guys ever watch van banner huh? oh my god oh Jeffrey. yeah and they have a strong preference for oh, light for lighty with awesome. curly hair or what yeah. is she? They sometimes they say brownings. Don't get me wrong. Mm. But what if you're not browning? What if you're dark? Mm -hmm. What if you're extra if you, brown? What if you're extra brown? So what? Then you're not. You're not. Um. You're not a painting. What the kind of bullshit is that? But anyway, so what if you're not a painting? At the end of the day, this money is different. If, sorry, money. At the end of the day, in this world, there's different ways to win. Yeah. You need to get your of coin course. up or whatever, and then everyone want to be your friend. Get popular. Everyone wants to be your friend. Yeah. So I had that kind of mindset. I was gonna work because I was really good at art. So I thought I'm gonna just be an artist, yeah. and that's my that's my good thing. Yeah. And you know when you're when you're when you're not pretty or you don't think you're pretty, you have to use your other talents. Of course, you do. You, do. you know what I mean? You're funny. Yeah. And everyone thinks you're super funny. So yeah, that's what I did. I was or the geek. You know everything. Yeah. You help people yeah. with their homework, or they come to you for help with something. Yeah. But we we glowed up. Yeah, we yeah, we, we definitely we glowed up. We definitely glowed up. When's the first time you realised that you weren't that bad, bad looking? I think when I went to college. Really? Because and I went to I went to a mixed college yeah. from a girls' school. Yeah. And I just got a lot of attention from guys, and I'm just like, but wait, I'm not nice. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you talking to me for? Yeah. I'm not even on my course, so I, I know you don't want me to help you. Yeah. Anything, so you actually want to talk to me? So I think it was college for me. Do you know when I? Uh, this is actually really sad. Do you know when I clocked? I was actually uh, year eleven. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not saying ping, just the real yeah, I wasn't I too ugly. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, it was year eleven, and I was um, I was getting no. So basically, there was this link up. All these boys from the school and the girls from the school were doing this link up after school, and one of my one of the girls, one of the pretty girls, said, "No, nah, no, nah, Talani can't come because what's his face might like her," and I thought, "Huh." I'm nice. He might like me. I thought a boy would. A boy <laughs> might like me over you. Over you. I actually thought no. Did I hear that right? And that's when that seed was planted in my head. I actually started thinking. Wait a minute. I, wait. Am I not clapped? <laughs> no, no. I genuinely thought. Am I not that clapped? How can her boy prefer me to her? Because I thought she was, she was beautiful. Buff, yeah. yeah. So the fact that she actually said no, no. But she was doing banter. But she said no. Tony can't come now. He's gonna like her. I was thinking. 
No, no, nobody mm. likes me. Nobody likes me. So that's when I started to think, yeah, man, um, maybe I should start looking at myself in the mirror in a different mm-hmm. light. Yeah. yeah. Accepting myself or not being too clapped. All right, cool. We've talked about the school thing. What about... Hmm. The stereotype body. Yeah. Stereotype body. Um, I'll talk about actually when I was in secondary school and... Um, there was two girls in my class, they were haters, and they told me, because I didn't have a big bum, they said to me, um, you're not a proper black girl because you have a big bum. And that yeah. lived with me for a very long time, but yeah, that was quite horrible. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um. <laughs> my sister was telling me as well, like, there was this, this tweet that crept did where it was just like, if you're not, if, you, if you're, Susie, can you say it? If, if you're black girl and have a big bum, then what's the point or something like that? Yeah, like, what's the point if you don't, if you're black and you don't have a big bum? I mean, okay. I mean, it, it's just ridiculous because what about white girls? Like, yeah. what? Okay, they're precious to be skinny, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. They have to they be have really, 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 be really, really, really skinny. Yeah. So our pressure is that we have to have an hourglass body. But if you're born and you don't have an hourglass body, what are you supposed to do cure yourself? Like, or you're not good enough. That's just bullshit. That's and not, if you look around, you notice that um there is not that much consistency in terms of black women and even white women a lot of white women have typically black women bodies Bodies. a lot of Mm -hmm. black women have typically white women bodies it's just this idea that we've created in our head everyone's shaped differently yeah and i think you can be a black girl and be like a a, a slim ting you can have like a model body like you don't size zero and there's nothing wrong with that at all yeah there's nothing wrong with that. everyone's um different and i think it does because of social media now it becomes harder for young girls to accept their bodies but everyone is different honestly everyone's different um and it's not really fair especially where it's coming from black men or black boys yeah but i actually find it when i date uh, when i try and date outside my race that they'll say stuff they'll be like i saw a boy said to you one time can you make it clap wasn't it you me susie wasn't you can you make it? It was you. It was me. You're on Did POF. POF, a boy message you saying, can you make it clap? I don't, I don't remember you this. told us a story. <laughs> it was like, it happened, I don't remember boy, this. Boy, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, Especially like on Tinder yeah. and them ones, I'll just be like, oh yeah. Like, it's just like, what? Literally what they see on porn and what they see on yeah, Instagram. But they're, they're fetishizing us. Yeah. yeah. That's the difference. Um, I don't, you can never date a guy that fetishizes you. No, no. Because yeah. that's not real. Mm-mm. You're a fetish and that's just, that's just, that's, it. that's just bullshit. So. Or forbidden fruit. Yeah. That's true. Forbidden fruit. Forbidden fruit. Okay. What about um? What about if you are okay? So we have to struggle with like what all rude. Yeah, we all rude. We all argue. We all fiery. I mean, and a lot of us are in it because mm-hmm. of our upbringing. Yeah. But um, if you're just having an argument, people just think, oh, there she's being a rude black loud yeah. girl. And yeah. we have to check ourselves. Do you not find yourself, even in your workplace? You have to be careful you of, to... of your tone, of your mm-hmm. voice. Yeah. Um, getting too close before they start doing, oh my God, why are you coming yeah. close to me? Oh, you're being aggressive. Yeah. You're like, scaring oh, I hate, me. I hate that word. I hate that word. So yeah, much. I hate that word too. You're being aggressive, you're scaring me. And it's like, are you, it's like, are you like, actually serious? I can show you scary if you want. Yeah, oh my God. And like, what about the whole like okay i'm gonna tell you a story like i dated a white boy you guys know henry remember yeah, yeah. oh god like i'm really i should stop doing that um let's call him the larry. names but there'll be loads of white henry larry let's call him larry okay. one time he told me in an argument um um I, I said something a bit mean though i was just like oh uh, well, i think i said something like no i said something mean about myself like don't treat me like i'm a basic bitch or something and then he said to me oh um, what makes you think you're not basic? He goes, you're uneducated. Wow. You're, um, what was the other one? Uneducated. I know he said ghetto. He said get. He definitely said ghetto. I'm trying to get to that, but I forgot. okay, there was one about money. That like I was broke basically. Mm-hmm. And guess why he thinks I was broke? Because I wasn't a Chelsea, yeah. like from Chelsea. Because I live in Enfield. He said I was broke, I was uneducated, and I was ghetto. And I'm not even ghetto. You're not ghetto. I'm not I'll even ghetto. But oh. that's what I'm saying. Because I'm I'm not posh. Um, the point is, when you're a black girl, you always have this fear of being perceived as hood and yeah. ghetto yeah. and loud. And it's just not a nice thing to carry with mm-hmm. you. Because for the most part, you're just a civilized woman. Civilized and you think that you're well-mannered and you talk all right. And you're a bit aff. 
Yeah. Yeah, if anything, not ghetto. Yeah, not but ghetto. But on the flip side, when you do try to be, or when you are that way, you're you're more, uh, I don't need to use the word refined, but I don't know why that word is coming in my head. But when you're not ghetto. You're more well-spoken. Yes, and well-spoken. From the black people, they're like, why are you so well-spoken? You're not black You talk enough. like a white girl. <laughs> yeah, you talk like a white girl. You think you're too nice. It's like, no, I don't, this is how I talk. Yeah, oh my God, like all, like, all my life I've been told that I talk like a white girl. Oh, if you like pop. Yeah, if you like pop music, yeah. but my sister really likes Korean music. Susie, you really like Korean music. You make it quite like K-pop because you make it sound like, K- like the traditional. Okay, no, no, she likes K-pop. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh. Like K-pop. K-pop. And K-pop is a re- is is like um, pop music in Korea, <laughs> and it's popping. Yeah. But like, yeah, it, she she sometimes she'll feel like she can't be herself because when you're black, you have to be a certain way. Yeah, you have to like R and B. You have to like hip hop. You have yeah. to like rap. You have to like bashment. That. I don't like Bashman. Soka. I don't like Soka, don't but like come it. on, we have we ah auntie, we have <laughs> we have Caribbean fans. You have to you say you like it. Um, viewers, not fans. I don't, I don't hate it. <laughs> <laughs> It's just not my thing, and I'm sure a lot of Caribbean people wouldn't like Afrobeats. I just yeah, yeah they do. Yeah, yeah they, 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 they okay. They they cuss. They tend Some to cuss them. and insult our music, but I I just like Afrobeats. That's all. But um. Like mostly, we just want to like encourage girls like to be themselves and have like, um, like, uh, what's the word I want to say? Don't give up and don't let yourself get down about yeah. things. Don't get depressed mm. about things. If you're a black girl and you are struggling with um, being the only okay, if you're a black girl and you're struggling, because I went to a really white school for my A levels because I did really well. Um, by the way, just. Louis, you know, I'm just showing off some more, some more. <laughs> You know, I got some A's, you know? <laughs> A stars. Some A stars, you know. So I went to a really posh um, um, sec- um, school for A levels, and um, everyone there was white, and I felt like I had to be a white. Come on, am I the only yeah. person that no, has to be white? Mean, yeah. So I felt like I had to you be. You have to tone down the AF. Mm. Yeah, you have to tone down the AF. Yeah. So I felt like I had to be a bit white. So, um, what? Mum? Someone downstairs. So yeah, so um, I just, I, I really, I would tone down my personality a little bit, just water it down. Yeah. Still myself, but I, yeah. a very calm yeah. version of myself. Um, and then, like, when I went to Leeds University, not Leeds Met, Leeds Leeds. Like, it's quite a wide, <laughs> just, what, well, hey, I have to big myself up. Me, I got A's, you know, one, one, two B's, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, I got A's, so when I went to Leeds, like, I was also the only black girl. And, no, I really struggled, and I always felt like... I always felt there was a crossroad in my life where I thought, if I want to make it in life, do I have to change my personality and become really, really, really white and stuff in my personality? And uh, I'm going to say I chose to be myself Mm -hmm. because I think that causes unhappiness. Maybe it brings brings you more money. And you lose yourself, ultimately. It It might bring you more money, though. If you fit in with that crowd. Yeah. Fitting in helps. But do you know what? Fitting in, you're never truly accepted if you're, if you're being honest about it. They put up with you. Yeah. But yeah, that is you're true. never one of them. Mm-hmm. You, they put up with you more than the, the average black girl, but you're still not one of them. Mm. Yeah. So it has to be genuine. Point, yeah. If you're genuinely like that, it has to be genuinely what you are. Like, genuinely. Exactly. Like, I got to a point, yeah, where... Even in the workplace, I got to a point where I just started sticking up for myself because people make comments. Hey, people make com- people, people make, make comments. comments. Like one time, somebody um said to me at my old job, um, why do you, why do black women wear? Okay, I'm doing an American accent, but he said, why do black women wear um wigs and weaves? Like they just want to be European. And I just are thought, you a spokesperson for black people? Why is I he thought what? This thing? I said uh, honestly, I just said it's just a hairstyle, babe. Yeah, don't overthink it. it. It's literally, it's literally just a hairstyle. You've never come across any other black person to ask apart from me. But some of them haven't. I work. No, he hadn't. Yeah, I, oh, okay. I worked in a company of a woman, she was about 45, and she said to me, you're the first black person I've ever worked with. But tell her, tell that comment about the woman that said to you, why are you wearing makeup? Yeah, so, at work, same company, <laughs> this woman said to me, oh, I don't really understand why you wear makeup, why do you wear makeup? And I was like, what? I, I, I didn't understand, I was like, for the same reasons that you do, and I probably didn't get it, then, she, then someone else said, oh, because we wear makeup. To give us a bit of color, but you already have color. <laughs> what? I didn't have to answer the question. Yeah, but it's just ignorance. It's because she doesn't know. Yeah. She wasn't trying to be offensive. Yeah. That wasn't her. Be trying to be offensive. She just didn't know. 
um but my guy was trying to be offensive like you guys all want to be white and i just thought so when you guys do do lip injections you want to be black no no but they don't exactly. yeah. yeah you just it, want a fuller lip you just want fuller lips That's and it. it's just um these hairstyles to a lot of people is a, ha a hairstyle that they like yeah mm -hmm. um it makes them look pretty mm -hmm. long hair it's a, an opinion but long hair to a lot of people is attractive yeah, it's, it's i'm not saying it's the too. only attractive um hairstyle in the world but which is why women sometimes like to um add extensions to their but hair a lot of us over. we have protective styles underneath yeah. and it's yeah. just easy to manage that's all we don't act. i mean if your hair was like this would you you wouldn't would you if it was easy to manage but if it, was easy to manage, it takes yeah. a lot of care and um time yeah for our hair so. yeah definitely definitely but i think i get that a lot with um some colleagues and they'll be like oh your hair is long today because if i've gone from a yeah short, so, oh God, like yeah. is it growing that quickly and i'm like do i pretend? you don't tell them if you're not accusing me of wearing a wearing weave then i don't say anything i'll just be like yeah i'll just say my, my hair's fake so if they ask me if they say to me is it real then i'll tell you no it's not but if you're like oh your hair's grown yeah but i don't understand okay it's, it's different isn't it? but some people it's really fascinating this this hair thing is really fascinating it is. yeah it is it's really I've fascinating had some long conversations about it like why would you i've had conversations where people been like they're really concerned from the bottom of their heart yeah <laughs> do you have Proper concern like or even just like why will you why don't you come to work every day with your hair mm. And I'm just like, I wish for one week you had my hair. Yeah. And then you don't understand. Exactly. It, it, I actually have to commend Susie because she um, does I'm her sure hair and she washes her hair every week. And it's so long. Like today, I have to literally, um, I have to wash my real hair and plait it because I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. And I'm dreading it. But yeah. Susie does that every week. Aren't you going to plait it? No no. no, 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 no. I don't want to be there the whole day. So you're going to plait it yourself? Yeah, she said I can. Yeah. Did she give you that the pattern? So like, it really hurts when I plait no, my hair. No, I know, I know, but I'm okay. It really hurts when I plait my yeah, hair, but like because my hair is like really Sarah just said, it's really hard. <laughs> has she, has she, has she, has she given you new specifications it? of what to do? Like all back, sides, middle part. Mm. Oh, ask her. Yeah. Should I ask her? Oh, you have yeah. to ask. Yeah. Okay, cool. That wanted to lay flat, so. Okay. Um. La, 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 la. What about the Twitter thing? I was not really part of the Twitter thing. Oh yeah, 2012, 2013, it was just <laughs> roasting everyone. It was war. Yeah, it was actually quite horrible. Yeah, but what kind of things did they say about black girls on Twitter? They missed exposed. Oh, whoops, sorry. Oops. No, it's okay, so what? <laughs> so what? <laughs> Mr. Exposed said, he said it though. If he said it, he, he did. said it. He did. He, he, if, if you said it, you said it. I, I can it's talk about true. something you put, yeah, I can talk about something there, so. you put out there. I'm not, yeah. I'm, it's also a private conversation that we had. So, okay, what did Mr. Expo say? He said that you should get yourself a dark skinned girlfriend so that when you commit domestic abuse, you will see the marks. Wow, wow, wow. What? Are we allowed to laugh? <laughs> that is horrible. I'm laughing because of shock. <laughs> <laughs> what else did he say? Um, that was the only one. And then the, one, of, uh, one of the trends was to list the things that the kind of women you like in order of preference. So usually it would be like white or like Asian or Latina first. And then it would be like dogs, cockroaches, <laughs> and then black girls. And then there would be white girl Wednesday, there would be mixed girl Monday, and then it was black girl Sunday, and black girl Sunday, everyone was like, nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This is what we had in St. Anne's though. Yeah. We were clapped. Anyway, let me just sip some. Sip some. <laughs> now I love it. Everyone, yeah. everyone got it though. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, okay, everyone got it, but this is the difference. Yeah, this is the difference. I because I'm I'm not gonna think this is cool. The difference is, there are people in society who do very well for themselves, and in society they, they are portrayed in the in, in mm -hmm. a, most of the time in a positive manner. Mm. So when they get a bit of an negativity, they can brush it off. Yeah. But when constantly in society, you're seen as not good enough. Yeah. Or you're not represented in general you're not represented in love island you're not represented yeah. in general yeah. the message is that you're clapped so when someone yeah. on twitter is beating you up you take it more personal yeah. not me maybe not me personally but there's girls out there who actually feel like they're not good enough and they're not pretty because they're black yeah yeah so to be honest with you um 
we have to talk about this because there are girls out there who are probably a little bit depressed and don't like the color of their skin yeah. and wish they were like these of course. wish they were white and would give anything to be that so no what mr exposed said was out of order even if it was a joke you you saying to somebody you have to do even a, it was even a joke about domestic violence yeah. which, very, which you can't joke about yeah. You can't joke about domestic violence. How do you know what if do you know what yeah. it feels like to be a victim? A victim, yeah. So I think that was wrong. And the the curb crush, Okay, look, I'm gonna say the curb crushing was funny. I can't lie to you. Yeah. But it's deep though. It is. It's deep though. And you know, we only find that element of I don't wanna laugh, so sorry. I'm trying really hard not to laugh because it was funny. But <laughs> We only find it funny because we're not in a place where we'd find it offensive. Right. Yes. Um, and whether that's because we have, um, we're, yeah, we're, we're more confident or we can take, you know, the lighter side of things. Um, but some people would have actually cried mm -hmm. yeah. about that. And some people have experienced um, more direct things against their skin colour. Yeah. And yeah. that would affect them more, mm -hmm. you know, if they have had they're running jokes in college or in secondary school about being so dark like you know you know you, you you're so dark you look blue or you know yeah. can, you smile in the dark you can only see your teeth things like that you never <laughs> 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 what? It's rude. It's it's very rude. I don't know what I'm no, but you know what? Okay, that's rude. But I'm talking. I believe somebody. <laughs> somebody said. Somebody actually said. The so the white girls, Latinos, cockroaches, dogs, dogs. and the black girls. Yeah. Wow. There's loads. It was different. Like it was who could different be the animals. funniest? Who could put black? What you what you could put before black girls? Who was the funniest? It was loads of people doing. Yeah, hundreds. Tweet. But I, th I think a lot of girls would be more affected by the fact that it was coming from black boys. That was the bit that was the worst. How word. dare you? Honestly, no, I'm just going to how right. dare you right. when your mum is black, your sister's black. You want your sister to hate herself? But oh, they'll, that's it there. You want your sister to hate herself? They'll always come back with, but it's not that deep. Yeah. yeah. But it's that deep. But it is that deep. You don't know. You can't speak for every black person. You can't speak for black women because you're not one. So for a black woman that's already struggling with, you know, maybe other races not liking her then within mm -hmm. her own race yeah like she's been segregated and pushed to the side yeah and who said that not even who said but i see dark skinned women that are beautiful yeah like so Every who day. you say that your skin tone Defined, now defines yeah. how good looking you are it's, it's very sad yeah and i just need my black my black sisters to just like okay i see this a lot and i don't personally do it because it doesn't bother me but it does bother me sometimes, but most of the time it doesn't bother me. When you see a, a black guy dating a black girl, a white girl, uh, or a girl that's not black, and you deep it, and you yeah. want to um, write loads of comments mm -hmm. and hate comments underneath, um, you know, because you think, oh, he doesn't like, he doesn't like black girls, yeah. even if he doesn't, yeah. That's, so what? That's his problem. Like honestly, that's his problem. Mm -hmm. You, you need to get confidence and love yourself and know that you are beautiful. Exactly. You are beautiful regardless of whether if that man doesn't want to be the black woman or not it does not define how sexy how mm. attractive how confident and how smart you are yeah. and listen if you the same way they can go and date a white a white woman or a, a latino woman is the same way you can date a white man yeah the opportunity is the same there's too many black girls out here who d will not go out of their race i'm not saying yeah. that you, you have to but if you feel a type of way yeah, about interracial like dating by your race yeah you can go out your race and uh, for some, for I find it really weird when black men have a problem with um, black girls dating white men because I'm like, but you, but you don't do it. I'm, I'm highly confused. The pro they actually have the problem more than where black, black women, women have, have the problem, problem with them yeah. dating white white women. Um, the looks you would get, like I could be with a, a white guy, yeah. a friend, and the looks that black guys would give me, like you disgust me. You know that kind of look, yeah, like, yeah. Like what the hell? What are, yeah. what are you doing? why who who said i'm with that person number one yeah and why not yeah like you said you guys do it yeah you guys do it you do it so you know i've, I've, I've actually had a guy move to me in front of um a white guy that i was with really? yeah yeah and the thing that's is you would never know that that's not my man you don't actually know but i think yeah. he did it to prove a point and to be intimidating it wasn't my man anyway but even he was just like, why did he do that? And I was like, yeah, just because really I bet you he probably wasn't even interested in me. Yeah. But he probably thought he was taking one for his race. 
and so not stupid. accepting that but it's so stupid like at the end of the day like you um worry about your we have to just worry about ourselves of course yeah. we have to worry about don't ourselves worry about else. don't worry about anyone else everyone can date who they want mm-hmm. and like like we said if you feel like your race ain't showing you enough love go to a different one go to a different race do you know what i'm saying if your gender ain't showing you enough love then go to a different gender like it's not really really no one's business um but like i will say there's all so much stuff on twitter on the internet that black men don't support black women la 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 mm. but the truth is it's the truth yeah i don't feel like black guys do they don't support. even like with the whole black lives matter i know it's obviously not as big over here as it is yeah. in the us mm-hmm. but it's still here um black women like we ride like we really do yeah we do black men and i don't feel like it's the same it's not the same it's not the same it's they not definitely the same. don't support us as much as no. we support them no they don't some of them try and do like the old oh, beautiful african queens and stuff a little bit but for the most part i yeah. mean it's really rare you lot all you want to support is each other like i'm just yes. black boys support yes. black boys and that's it to the yeah. end they'll die for each other but when it comes to the girls you lot don't care let's be real you don't care you know you're not about, you're not you don't really care to put us on no we have to mm-hmm. we have to struggle on our own but like I, we have a power as women and we just need to support each other black yeah. women need to support yeah. each other because we can win i saw there's more women in the world than men anyway yeah. so me, yeah. i don't see why men have to win over women no way no. there's more yeah. women there's more women so um, they can all piss off as far as i'm concerned um so wait is that it well we don't on half an hour you know Let's oh, let's do changing the CV first, though. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, um, okay, wait, okay, let's do close then. No, go CV. Okay, CV. So, how, what are your thoughts on, um, sometimes it's hard to get jobs so people change their last name or their first name so it can have a European name? Mm-hmm.